jump ahead and take a look at some uh, great examples of modern web typography. That's kind of an aspiration of where we can go. Um, first one I want to look at is Nerdery. It's a uh, design firm. And um, they have uh, gone a long way to using uh, web type, web fonts uh, throughout their pages. Very little on this page is, um, is uh, image text. Uh, the only thing I think really on here is the uh, business journal, best places to work, is, in, um, is, in, is text in an image. And of course, their logo, Nerdery. Everything else is uh, HTML text uh, styled using a web font. Um, one thing is if you are going through the presentation yourself, you'll see these little orange labels. Um, each of these is actually a static screenshot, but if you click on the uh, label, it will actually load the page into the iframe there, and you can play around with it live. So you can see here, all of this text is actually selectable. Uh, even over here in their infographic, they're using selectable uh, HTML text. And this, of course, not only improves their, um, uh, the, the, the speed at which the page renders, but also, of course, the search engine optimization, because all this text is now exposed to the search engine um, and can be discovered by it and then searched on. If you did want to see this page outside of the little iframe I set up, just you know, right-click. Uh, for your menu, and you can open like in a new tab or a new window. Um, another great example is uh, co-design uh, from the um, Fast Company blogs. Uh, there's co-design, co-exist, and co-create. And um, you'll notice that uh, as I scroll down, you get a good sense of the type of This is actually an article I highly recommend. Uh, it's an infographic of the day, why you should care about typography. Uh, great article. Um, when Fast Company relaunched their main blogs, Co-Design, Co-Exist, and Co-Create, they um, spent a lot of time on the information architecture. But rather than create different information architecture and layout for each one, they kept the layout and the information architecture almost identical between them. But what they did change was the typography. So if you look at co.design and then move across to co.exist, you'll see that the article layout is very similar, but they're using a very different font for, uh, for both of these. And the same is true with co-create. They're using a very different uh, typeface there. And so they're using the typeface uh, 